Hello, friends, and welcome to Email Marketing Thursdays. I'm your host, Kerry Knoll, and in today's episode or segment, shall we call it, I'm going to share with you how to set up your DKIM and SPF records um, to get better deliverability inside of Active Campaign. So, by default, Active Campaign does do a, a fairly good job of, of, do, of managing your DKIM and SPF records, but if you want to get even better deliverability, it's best to actually enable these two records and set them up yourself for your own domain that you're sending from within your DNS setting. So I'm going to show you how to do that right here, right now. This is going to be probably a very short segment. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you get notified each and every day that I go live with one of these types of training videos and hit the like button if you get some good value out of it as well. And if you're watching on Facebook or LinkedIn, hit that like button, leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as I can. So let me share my screen. So you should be seeing my active campaign dashboard. And what we're going to go do is on the left-hand side here, we're going to click on settings. And then under settings, we're going to go to, um, I believe it's under advanced. And we have email deliverability availability here. We have authentication. And by default, you're going to see Active Campaign manages deliverability and authentication for me. Um, but this will add a sent on behalf of header to all outgoing emails. Most of your contacts will not see this and will be an, uh, entirely unaware of this unless they inspect your email source code. Or you can select, I will manage my own email authentication. You will need to update the DNS records of any domain name that you use as a from email address. So if you use more than one from email address, you will need to add the same DNS record to each one of those um, domains that you have. So here's the domain keys identified mail or DKIM. So it says enter your domain, domain name to generate your DNS record. So you just simply type in whatever domain you're sending from. In this case, it's vegastechgroup.com. Click generate and it creates the text record here. The text record name is this and then the text record value is all of this and then you repeat the process for the sender policy framework or spf so we manage spf on your uh for you by default so that we can process bounces spf will pass on all messages sent from active campaign you do not need to set up spf but if you like to add an spf record to your from address domain you can do so here so you enter your domain to create that as well so we just add it in here, click generate, and it generates this text record name, and then this record right here that you see, emsd1.com. So there, after you do both of those, you create both those, you copy in the clipboard, you come over to your DNS records. In this case, it's my Cloudflare account, and I already have a TXT record set up for vegastechgroup.com, and this record has V equals SPF1, include em sd1.com. Um, I also have one for Google as well. So you can have more than one under the same exact SPF record. So it can be include colon whatever that domain is and then a space include colon another domain and then include colon another domain. And then this all means it's capturing all bounces and sending those back. So that's how you set up the SPF record. If I want to set up the DKIM record, then I need to find the one in here that I have set up for that. And in this case, if I come back here, it's going to be the DK uh, period underscore domain key dot Vegas tech group dot com is the record name. So I'm looking for DK period underscore domain key. So that's this one here. And if I hit edit on that, you can see it's right here. DK I am one P equals in this long string of characters, right? And it ends in like QAB here. So we come back, is this the same one? Yep, it ends in QAB. So this is the exact same string of characters that is in this record. So the way you would create that is if I wanted to recreate it, I just click add new record. I pick type here and I want to select TXT. Then you have to give it the name that's required. That name is always right here. It's the first one. So you would copy it. Come back here and paste it in. Then you would change the time to live to as low a process, shortest period of time possible, which would be one minute, and then come back and copy the text record right here. So we copy all of this, come back in here and paste it all in and click save. 
and it would create the record that I've already got here down in my records. So that's how you do it. That's how you set it up. If you do this, you'll get um, some better avail uh, deliverability with your email and you can track some, some of your stuff better with like uh, Postmaster tools with Google and such. So I suggest doing that as well. Um, if you did want to do any additional stuff, um, as far as a DMARC record is concerned, that's I'll share that in another video um, down the road. But um, these two are available for you to set up easily enough. And if you had a different domain, you would just swap this out for another domain. Let's say I was doing it for a growth hack mindset. I just type it in, hit generate, does not matter. The actual record value is going to remain the same. The only difference is the record name changes slightly. And same with this one. If I change this one out to another domain, growthhackmindset.com, hit generate, it changes out the record name here. does not change anything in the actual record value. So it does not matter if you um, if you want to send for more than one domain within your active campaign account, you can send set up all the domains here. Just click generate. It just changes this. Once you figure that out, you do not need to come back here and keep, click on generate. You just need to keep, keep on creating uh, new TXT records for the different additional domains you want to send from. And all you have to do is swap out the domain name right here and right here. So you just would duplicate this over and over again as text records under each domain and swap out the actual domain name that you see there for the domain you're doing it for. Okay. So if it is confusing, come back here, just hit, you know, put it in the new domain name, hit generate, copy paste all your records. But if you know what you're doing, you can just swap this stuff out pretty quickly, pretty easily without coming back here and generating brand new um, records. So, all right. Appreciate you for showing up today. Thanks as always. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you can and would like to get notified, hit that bell notification as well. I'll be back tomorrow with Facebook ad Fridays. Until then, have a great rest of your day.